Uh, welcome to my channel and uh, let's do some color planning for May. Well, in May, of course, I will dedicate part of my time and pick part of my time to Magic Mouse. Even if I already accepted that I won't be able to finish this book until the end of spring and to start a new summer book from the 1st of June, I think that as much as possible I will try to color in this book. It simply gives me a lot of positive thoughts, a lot of pleasure when in a limited amount of time you can do this small picture as a finished project. And I think that it's quite easy for me to color them quicker because I selected the main colors for the mouse. So I have them with me always on my table. And from time to time I love to color with Prisma colors, but also to use my less frequently used sets. I think that in May I will try to color something with Arteza and something with uh, Sucolor pencils. So that's about Magic Mouse. I promise it will be a very frequent guest on my channel. Next, as I was very happy with my April works finished here, I decided that in May I also need to do something here. I think that choice number one will be this page with uh, with this tropical bird, like Calibri or Hummingbird. Sorry, guys. Well, this beautiful bird. Mostly because I got a request to color more with neo colors, and I think that it's one of the pictures where you can definitely use neo color crayons. I imagine something in a light yellow or ochre color and of course the very bright uh, gradients on the feathers of the bird. About flowers I haven't decided yet, but I think about phthalo or cobalt blue. As my choice number two, I have two pictures in mind. As we have May, so it means mermaid. Of course I would love to color this very beautiful mermaid and her new dress. But also I love to color flowers in Clara Markova books. And this page is full of flowers. So we will see. At least one page here I hope to do. For May I decided for myself to have two main themes in coloring. First one it's obvious. It's mermaids. I do love to color mermaids. I have many books from various artists. So my color choice which mermaids to do in May was quite complicated. And in the end what I selected it's Rose and her friends. This grayscale book by Evelyn. Here I have this very sad, tender the mermaid, but I selected it because I love to color those uh, seahorses. I hope that they are called in such way. You can do them um, closer to their real look because they are interesting by themselves or you can color them in more fantasy style. I think um, that I also want to do some fantasy color for her hair. So that my choice number one. Choice number two I need to do in Colorless Kingdom. Here we have two absolutely beautiful pictures with mermaids, but they are so detailed that even to look at them I can imagine hours and hours of work. That's mermaid number one. It's beautiful, but it's not my favorite. I do love this variety of seaweeds, corals, fishes which you have around her and she herself is very beautiful. But somehow um, a little bit more I love second page because here we have not only mermaid but also pirate. And somehow this one looks a little bit less intimidating, maybe because we have a lesser amount of colors here on the background. 
you just need to do stormy sky and remaining part of the crushed ship and this huge stone. Maybe it would be easier, not so difficult as the previous one. I will try to do this one or at least to start. Maybe in May I can do mermaid and in June to do pirate if I if I am very limited in my time. And another very tender, very delicate mermaid I have here in gardens and goddesses. Look at this tiny beauty. I don't know about paper here, but as it's one-sided and paper looks quite okay, maybe uh, I can limit this background as a frame, looking at these edges of the picture, and even to try to use either gouache or watercolor, because I really think that to do such kind of backgrounds with clouds, with sky, and especially water and sand, it's much easier and quicker to do it with paints rather than pencils. And then on the mermaid I will work with pencils, maybe with markers also. And it would be a very nice moment to finally start coloring in these gardens and goddesses books. Before we talk about my second selected Sam, I will talk about Wanderlust. I already mentioned in my April results video that to color something in Alessandra Fusey books, for me it's complicated because of the very complicated digital collages of many strange things connected together and connected. You can see that they were made, those colleges they were made digitally. You can't see where one part starts, cover another. But that's not a big problem. The biggest problem is those hidden objects, because it's one of the earlier books in the series, so we have hidden objects. But my first project here I liked, and I decided that starting from this success, I can do a little bit more in this book. I have two pictures in mind. Very strange choice for me. Maybe I'm attracted to this one because I want to color those beetles and I want to color uh, tulips. We will see because and it also has somehow Stephen King vibe. I don't know, but I can easily see this picture as a cover for Stephen King books. Another one where maybe I will try to use watercolors or ink tense pencils, that's this uh, lighthouse. Maybe I selected it because I can see here a possibility to use ink tense. Maybe there were, they will be able to mask those phones and other ugly things hidden between waves. But if no, I can mask them with dark colors of gouache or watercolor, like I did on previous pictures. So I hope that something I will do here and it will help me to feel more confident to do pictures in Alessandra Fusey books. So my second Sam is Egypt. Honestly, I already colored a couple of Egypt pictures, so I just need to make videos and to publish them. So definitely uh, two pictures for the Egypt Sam you will see in May. But I want to do more. And one of the perfect books to do Egypt pictures is this goddesses. Because so far I did Greek mythology, I did uh, Celtic no, Norse mythology pictures here, but I hadn't touched yet any of the uh, Egypt goddesses, and we have many of them. I would love to color this one also because she has such a beautiful dress and interesting flowers around, but again, in, in Greek mythology I already did a lot. and. Maybe in May I will do either this one or some other beauties. Very nice. I especially love this one because it has such a beautiful landscape with pyramids behind. We will see. But definitely it will be one of the Egypt goddesses. 
Um, here I also have beautiful Egyptian style lady, but in totally different style. Here I would call her probably dark enchantress, but because of the um, hieroglyphs on the wall behind, I also decided that she will be in Egypt style. And of course this headpiece. And this is scarab jewelry, so I think that it's one of the most interesting Egyptian pictures which I own. And you know that I love this book, I love to practice with markers here. So definitely I will try to find time for this beauty. And finally I realized that maybe Egypt Sam will help me finally to start coloring in Odyssey by Katembank. It's one of the craziest books which I own, but craziest in good style. Pictures are complicated, but they are very interesting to look at. And even hidden objects, they are not as, um, as horrible and as, um, as strange as they are in books by Fusey or Atanasio, he managed to put such elements like crowns, even in here on the cover, you can see that they are more matching the style of the images. So what I'm talking about is this page, again in Egypt style. And it's one of the easiest in the whole book, so maybe with markers for the background and with pencils. here. I don't even know where are those hidden objects because here are those beautiful knife <laughs> and the tiny head of Tutankhamun, they are perfectly matching the uh, style of the picture. That's how you need to do hidden objects. It's a pleasure to color them here. This tiny vase also quite suitable for the picture. Well, that's definitely one of the easiest in the books and my decision to do Egypt style pictures in May, it would be a very nice push for me to start coloring in Odyssey. Well, I know that probably I will do not even half of these plans, but it's nice to have at, le at least a little bit of some limits in my color choices. Usually I do 50% of my coloring from this to-do list, which I do in the beginning of the month. And the rest is quite spontaneous choice. And for me it's perfect way, because in such way I never get boring from coloring. Yes, sometimes I struggle with my videos, with the quality of this light, sound, but with coloring I am never bored. And I think that by in May I will have a lot of nice time. Of course, I also would love to include in my Mermaid book by uh, Jasmine Beckett Griffiths because her Mermaid's book is one of my favorites, but so far I did only a couple of pictures here. But I need to be realistic. Maybe I just continue to do Mermaid in June. We will see. I hope that in the end of the months we will talk what, what I managed to finish and what plans I can move to June. Thank you and I will see you with some of these books very soon.